a little late in the season for apples, but before we wrap up this year, we've got one final stocking stuffer. A device that's so thin, we almost forgot to tear it down. The M3 powered iMac. This razor thin profile is made possible due to an external power supply, one that also holds the machine's ethernet port. I don't know that any desktop needs to be this thin, but an external power supply is easier to replace. Although I guess it's also easier to lose. Has anyone had trouble with this yet? Grab your opening wheels, it's pizza party time. This slicer makes short work of the iMac's standard splittable foam adhesive. And there's nothing in here. Just kidding, there is more hardware, but it looks awfully familiar. The slack in these cables allows you to easily disconnect the display's power and data cables. Bye bye screen. A few T3 Torx screws, two up here, and four more hidden under this tape. And the logic board shield is free. I'll get this interconnect cable out of the way and tackle the stand mounting screws. One of the iMac's more annoying features is that you have to decide how you're going to mount this thing from the outset, foot or visa. You have to open the display and remove these screws to make the swap, but at least it is possible. Now that the body can lay flat on the teardown table, it's time to tackle all these tiny cables. More screws, and brackets, and cables, and peeling, and the board is free. But if we want to get to the M3, we're going to have to remove these brackets and take the heatsink off. Speaking of heatsink, this looks pretty identical to last year. I guess the pint-sized cooling system is working out for the iMac line. Pretty impressive, really. There's the M3, some solid-state storage, RAM, and a power port all in one pricey package. At least the ports are still modular. Granted, the screws are hidden under tape and the connectors are tucked under the brackets beneath the ports themselves, but they are removable. Now here's some news. The iMac battery is twice as repairable. Oh, okay, that's because there's only one battery instead of two. And yes, you do need to remove the screen to get in, but I like the idea that the iMac CMOS battery is probably Apple's most easily replaced battery. Okay, and one final warm fuzzy moment for this adhesive. In general, I don't like adhesive. There are almost always more repairable options. But in the case of iMac adhesive, it's the thing I recommend to manufacturers whenever I can. It cuts easily, peels up beautifully, and isn't too hard to reinstall. Smart, repairable design. Now that's what I want for Christmas. Happy holidays. And if I don't see you before then, happy new year. I think 2024 is gonna be a great year for repair.